Since becoming chief of police in Minneapolis, Madera Arredondo has focused on the invisible injuries that officers often suffer on the job. He's making officer wellness a priority. As Reg Chapman shows us, it starts by changing the culture and opening the conversation. Police officers are often on the scene of violent crimes where they come across images that can be hard to erase from their thoughts. We have not done a good job first of naming it and secondly, um, the response has typically been in this profession when officers are struggling to just suck it up. Chief Arandondo says officer wellness is a priority. He is determined to break the culture of officers quietly suffering from repeat exposure to the kinds of trauma that put them at risk for post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. Too often times when someone is struggling, they, out of fear of admitting that they need help or out of fear of uh, asking for services, uh, they feel that they will be judged um, and uh, we become comfortable in being silent. MPD now has a robust peer support team to make sure officers are not dealing with trauma alone. And for the first time in MPD history, the chief has asked for money from the mayor to help with officer wellness. We've lost too many good men and women in this profession. No one wants to see a repeat of Officer Dewey No, who killed himself in 2010 after suffering trauma from being shot by another officer during an undercover operation. Aaron Dondo says awareness and openly talking about this issue will go a long way. We know that uh, and there's research that shows if employees are feeling well and healthy, uh, they're coming to job happier to do their work, uh, they're having better interactions with their coworkers, uh, they're having better engagement with the community that they serve, and uh, it's a win-win for everybody. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. MPD is also sending members of its training team to other cities to learn more about officer wellness. The Minnesota legislature is helping as well. Lawmakers passed a first responder bill that requires insurance companies to cover mental health treatment for all active first responders.